Hello and welcome to a new day, a new durian farm and a new durian tree right there and with the net to catch all those nice fruit in one place so that they don't fall to the ground and split apart or at least that's what the Chinese guy told us from this farm Of shape yeah you're able to see from there oh, yeah usually it's long yeah usually it's long and looks like we already have a baby one hey today we're gonna walk around this farm we're gonna see how the people process the durian how they mass produce stuff out of it and maybe ice cream maybe mochi you never know all sorts of interesting products made from durian and also exporting them to other countries <coughs> china <coughs> for personal consumption in case you don't remember from our previous video which is somewhere here or here uh this is how durian looks like when it's hanging on a tree and because it has a star shape on its buttock here it's called a musang king or at least that's what i learned the previous episode nice so this one is a musang king durian i think cool and we're gonna see way more today we're gonna try way more today as well and it's gonna be a full day of adventure through this farm of durians looking forward to from what i understood here uh, at the farm they're using this big massive pump which is high-tech with bluetooth controlled service operation special special to water the whole uh, area to fertilize it as well and when this pump is not enough which is pulling water by the way from the nearby pond and spraying it throughout the field when this pump is not enough they use manual tractors like this one to spray the fertilizer and water to try to keep the pests away and all the bugs and things away from the durian tree hello I like your machine. <laughs> How many times a day you have to go with the machine through the garden? Uh, every day. Every day? Uh, yeah. Every morning or every evening or? Every morning and evening. Morning and evening. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. And this helps uh, the tree get no bugs and cleaning all yeah, the yeah. fungus Insect. and everything. Insect and fungus. Yeah. Insect and fungus. Yeah. Okay. Good. Thank you. Okay. Good job you're doing. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Nice. Can I ask yeah. you a question? Uh, yeah. How many hours does your battery last on uh, this? Usually, uh, we, if we continue to use this, yes. uh, around two hours. Oh, around two hours. So we, need, uh, we need to charge. Uh. Okay, so this is battery operated and that one is gas operated. Yeah. Okay. I like your Star Wars uh. thing on the remote control. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Very nice people. And looks like all the people are gathered here and they are trying something. Hiji, what are they trying? You were here before me. Um, the guide of the top fruit uh, durian farm is explaining us a new type of durian they are growing here, MDUR88, which is a bit different than the other types of durian. So he was saying, saying that the retail price is around 50, 55 ringgit per kg. Uh, it can vary up to 80. So, so is it the most expensive one or the most expensive one? Um, this is what they sell here, so what that they produce here. They not Musang King. Not Musang. Uh, they might do that as well, but here they have a different. They wanted to show us a different kind of. Okay. Durian. Let's go check it out. Let's go. Thank you. Ah. Oh, this is a big one. Okay, let's see how the durian tastes like, Gigi, from this farm. Hmm. Good. Is it? Cream. Oh, mm -hmm. oh wait. I have a glove. Aha! Because I learned I can put Sharing is caring. But this is the D24, right? D24? I hate so. Mm. Better than the regular farm? What do you think? Here at the high tech one. I don't 
know. I feel more the. I like the one we tried in the previous video. Okay. That was really good. Do you feel the Bluetooth tingling in your durian, or yes, do you all the technology here. happening in your food? The lawnmower definitely is in this one. For sure. Oh, it's good. I think the drone one is definitely in this one. It's good, but I've tried better as well. Okay. So now, after trying the D24 durian, we're trying the other special one, DG, right? Oh. Their own mix of durian power 24 hour. Yeah, uh, raw 88, I think. And this is their own concoction of hybrid durian? I think so, yeah. It's okay. your beloved product, the orange color. Okay. This. okay. Oh. You know why? Because you have to, you have to actually knock it, uh, knock it, and then you start fermenting a bit. Uh. Uh -huh. uh, then the colors is different. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah, so you're you're right. open is different. Which one should we try? This one or this one now? You should try this one. I this think. one. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, you take a piece of the GG? I will take a piece. Oh wow, it's way softer. Yeah. Wow. It's, it's the same, so creamy. same thing. I take a piece uh, of it as well. Why? Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah, sorry. <laughs> so this is your own uh, farm and production, right? I mean, it's so your. GG. Yes. This one only uh, in Malaysia, only Johor has this species. Only in Johor, so this yeah, is from Johor. This wow. <laughs> so this is from Johor. We stayed in Johor Baru for three weeks. Uh, now we're back in Johor and we're trying the yeah. first time the specific type of durian yes. here. Great, great. Very Thank you. Creamy. Let's see. Let's see. Thank you. <laughs> creamy. Oh yes, very creamy. Wow, what is this citrus flavor? So, here is where your drone and your all your technology comes into. Into this kind of hybrid wow. kind of durian. To make it even better than the all the other ones that we tried so far. This is way better than the first one we tried mm -hmm. before. Mm. Mm. I'm curious though. Yes, so good. To try the pieces that I picked. See if there's any difference this than the one that the guy recommended. This is like melon. Citrus. Mm -hmm. It's like still good. orange more. It's still good, the one that I picked. But his recommended one is way more better. He knows his stuff. Yeah, definitely. This is so, so tasty. So good, guys. So, if you ever come in Johor, try this one. Yes, we came all the way to Johor for this. So it's worth the effort and it's worth the try. Mm. Can you take it on this? Okay, sure. Picture time. I'll get you the time. Picture time, picture time, la 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 la. Okay, here. Okay. According to the charts on the wall around here, there are multiple types of grades of durian. Grade A, grade B, grade C, depending on the shape, size, and roundness of the durian and the star on the bottom. So, Interesting. Maybe your durian that you buy in the market is different than the one that you find somewhere else. And you can now identify which grade they are. I'm here with uh, Jackie, the founder of Masters of Malaysian Cuisine. And we're super happy to have her here with us. Uh, Jackie, can you please tell us more about Masters of Malaysian Cuisine? Uh, yeah, sure. So Masters of Malaysian Cuisine was a group that I formed two years ago in 2020. And I wanted to bring together all these Malaysian chefs who are active on social media because uh, I kind of felt that like we would be stronger together as a group and all the other thing I wanted was diversity in terms of skill set which is so each of our chefs specialize in different aspects of Malaysian cuisine because you've been traveling here for a bit you can see how diverse our food is and the other um, thing we wanted was uh, people who actually are professionally like working in the industry so they're not just um, they're not just Instagrammers, they're not food reviewers, they're not food bloggers, they're, but they're actually people who make a living from producing food. And thirdly, we want a geographic spread as well. So our chefs are based around the world, Europe, um, Southeast Asia, Australia, and everywhere. We're super happy to be here on our first durian farm tour ever here in Malaysia for the first time and we're doing this with you. Uh, how did you uh, think of uh, coming up with this idea to go on a durian tour? I was actually approached by the Ministry of Agriculture and Food Industries of Malaysia uh, a few months ago, uh, late last year actually, and they wanted to launch a campaign to promote awareness, particularly in Australia and more broadly around the world, 
on uh, what durian is and also other Malaysian tropical fruits. So there are some of my suggestions and this was one of them. And the other one is a durian cookbook which we are producing as well. So they like some of my ideas and yeah, like I said, one of them was to take our chefs around Malaysia to visit durian farms and learn a little bit more about it. And they invited us to do that. I think that sounds amazing guys. So if you're interested in uh, Malaysian cuisine too, um, different flavors of uh, the whole um, like Malaysian um, food I don't know, scene <laughs> you can check out Masters of Malaysian Cuisine we'll give you the links in the description thank you so much Jackie no. for this wonderful experience visiting durian uh, farms and learning how this very precious food is being prepared and made and turned into something that millions of people around the world love and uh, thank you for uh, letting us um, ha make this story happen with these amazing chefs and these amazing people all around Malaysia. <laughs> no, it's our pleasure to have you. We're so glad you get to experience durian and find out what the big fuss is about it. So sure. yeah, don't forget, just uh, follow these guys, uh, the Dodo Explorers on their journeys. They create amazing content. And yeah, if you want to learn more about Malaysian food, just visit us via the links that they're going to post. I'll right. see you later. Thank you, Jen. Thanks. <laughs> And now, by the miracle of time, we have arrived to the factory where they are organizing, I think, a table for us to tell us a bit about the factory, to explain us a bit about this place. So I'm curious to find out more about this factory and about what is happening around here. And now, after talking so much about durian, it's time to have... Durian ice cream! And uh, we're here at the factory. They actually produce this ice cream. I think you can find all over Malaysia. It's called Golton and it's gelato durian. So gelato is, sounds very, very good already. This is the packaging. It has a spoon inside. And I'm gonna try to open up the, the ice cream, which is sealed. It has uh, some Chinese characters on it. I'm, whew, I'm in front of the factory where they make this oh my goodness the, the the smell is super strong it smells like a durian inside and it looks like this is creamy it smells like durian and the taste this tastes like musang king creamy um, it's super creamy soft banana pineapple uh, melon a little bit of an orange. It's not as citrusy like an MD24, but this is super good. Marco, you want for it? Sure. Let's I try. have my own. I will need help. It's good, guys. Mmm. Durian ice cream. I think I like the fruit more than I like the ice cream. True, but in case you, you don't have the fruit available... I can buy the ice cream or you cannot find the frozen durian which is I think some of my favorite um, you can try this out very good it's very close to the real deal I'm here with Benson Ku he's one of the managers here at the factory Hello. so uh, I want to ask you a few questions yep. when did you start this factory? okay we started this factory in 2010 okay. okay until now about 13 years old 13 years old okay yes. and the farm is older? Not the the farm started in 1986. 1986, ah, okay. And this until now is uh, over 30, 30, over over 30 years, old. years old. Okay, so they first had the farm and then you decided to make a factory to mass produce it. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. And how big is the farm? The farm is about 500 acres. 500 yeah. acres? Oh, With big. 20 over types of durians. Yeah. Okay. Ah. And to me, the most important question is mm. why you decide to use technology like drones, like robots, like uh, oh. special automated pumps okay. in the making of the, in the processing of the farm? This is actually helps to improve in terms of precision uh, farming. Okay. Because we are talking move on, uh, uh, we, we need more youngster and uh, uh, young generation to actually participate okay. in the uh, farming industry. That's why we are looking at uh, modern technology which actually can help us to bring uh, more youngster to come in and join us. Okay. And also for actually help to reduce in terms of the uh, worker count and then to have more efficiency and uh -huh. more effectively in terms of uh, uh, you know increase the production of productivity the okay just need people to drive the power pump through the trees and then you get you know all the the spraying okay. process 
you know, if individual, then it will be you need more a lot of people built. to go tree to tree. But okay. with the vehicles, you actually save a lot of times and more efficiency. Oh, nice! So this is a way to include high-tech devices and high-tech, uh, I don't know, drones and technology of the future or Internet of Things Correct. into the farming process. Correct. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, there you have it, guys. And just like that, I'm in the lab coat and I'm ready to explore the factory together with Gigi here. Let's go. from that conveyor belt over to the ladies who take the fruit, the pulp out of it then it gets put into a bin and it gets weighed and after it gets weighed it goes inside the other part of the facility where here they are taking the seeds out they are spreading it into a paste and they are preparing it to ship it Outside. From this point onward, I have to wear this mask because uh, we're actually dealing with food here and it's very easily contaminated. And they spend a lot of money to try to pasteurize these products, just dumping them in the hot water so that all the microorganisms are dying. And I don't want to contaminate their products by me not wearing a mask. So I hope you understand what I'm saying. I'm trying to speak as loud as possible so you get what I'm saying. One very interesting thing I wanted to uh, say to you guys is the fact that we have so many ladies working here and that makes me happy. So let's go to the other section. Shout out to the ladies and therefore everyone working here in the Dorian industry for making this fruit available all over the world. See here this nice ladies, they are cleaning up the, the paste. They are spreading it out very evenly. It will try to see if there are some impurities or imperfections inside the paste. And then those imperfections and impurities, they end up in a big uh, bin. And that bin is used for fertilizing the trees. So all this uh, process has no waste basically all the waste gets turned into fertilizers and it's a circle continuous circle of growing your durian where they are dunking it in hot water and this all the this way all the bad things bacteria microbes microorganisms die in my country in Romania I can feel my nostrils getting frozen interesting minus 20 degrees in Malaysia it's possible what? don't get locked here come on. come on here guys in the mega freezer you can have up to 40 
big shipment of durian and that means around 40,000 tons of durian can be stored inside this mega freezer at minus 35 degrees for everyone around the world. So move something also we do the same. From fruit to bag. Yeah. Yes. Like this. Premium deal. Produce? One. Malaysia. Produce in Malaysia. Very good. My bad, my bad. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Durian tour over, guys. Yes, Durian tour is over. In the most um, high tech, high tech farm slash factory, futuristic farm factory that you can find here in Johor. In Johor, and one of the best ones in the country. They yes. tend to be the best one in the country. Very impressive technology. Cool, yeah. They use all sorts of gizmos and gadgets to bring the durian from the tree to your house. Yes, in your desirable form. Yes, the way you want it. Either frozen or ice cream or mochi or pochi or lochi or everything else. So, without further ado, that being said, it's time to go. Thank you for joining our beautiful tour at the factory and at the farm. Hope you like this one and don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the thing that you do to help us make more videos. I'm curious to see about your impressions in the comments. Drop them. Yes, drop them and spread the love. Bye bye.